again. Happy Sunday. Dr. David Samadhi, Chair of Urology here. We are uh, starting this whole brand new show, uh, World Health News, and we have unbelievable guests and doctors and hopefully even politicians in the future to talk about healthcare. Where are we headed? What we should know about, etc. My good friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Mark Siegel, is in the studio. We see each other every Sunday on Sunday House Call, who's been helping everybody now. He was nice enough to come to the studio. I want to talk to him about uh, Obamacare very soon. I also want to talk to him about some of the initiative that he has in pediatrics, obesity, and diabetes, Ch child obesity that we're going to be talking today on Fox News. But I want to answer some uh, of the calls, and maybe I even get you involved, Mark. Uh, let's go to Grace from Staten Island. Grace, good morning. Dr. Samadhi here. Dr. Samadhi, thank you so much for taking my call. I watch you all the time on Fox. Thank you. And uh, I, I heard you um, uh, an interview with Frank Morano, so that's how I knew about this show. And I'll be honest, I'm uh, going to be 60 this year. I don't always, I haven't taken really good care of myself, and I'm maybe taking a late start. Um, what foods would prevent cancer? Um, my mom died of that at an early age, and I'm. She died. She died from what disease, if I can ask you, Grace? Uh, breast cancer. Um, it, and I those see. Da she had a lump, um, but at those days they didn't. Of you know, course. She saw a doctor. They didn't say, "Oh, don't worry about it." And Grace, for, first of all, thank you very much for. Uh, being a fan and also trying to improve your health. That's what we're here for, to change your life and many other lives. And, and all of the information that I'm going to give you is going to be on our blog, samadhimd.com, samadhimd.com. I'm glad you listened to Frank Morano. He's a very energetic man on the radio, and this AM 970 is doing all the good things to bring awareness. I think given the fact that you have history of breast cancer and family history of that, you should be on top of the game with your mammograms and also there are now MRIs to really detect if there are any kind of lesions and be very aggressive in biopsying them if you find something unusual. Uh, we heard from uh, our good doctor about colonoscopy and our family practitioner about getting your pap smears and everything else in order. But as far as diet is concerned, anything that can cause inflammation it can lead to cancer. That's a very simple, basic way of doing it. So uh, fatty food, red meat, things, processed uh, food, all of those are obviously not good for you. And I've always told people, you've heard me say this on Fox News, look at your plate. If it's all color, then it's a good thing. So fruits, vegetables. I mean, once in a while, we're all human beings. You can deviate from the norm. But for the most part, you know, stick to all of those. Um, get your colonoscopy, get your mammogram, and uh, we can even ask, uh, and if you have questions and you don't have a medical doctor, Dr. Siegel is here. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Dr. David. Siegel, let me introduce him. He's a professor of, of medicine from NYU Langone. Uh, he's extremely knowledgeable. He's with me every every Sunday on Fox News. He's a friend, and that's why he's also a pain in the butt because I joke, <laughs> I joke around with him all the time. And you see us, sometimes we agree or disagree, but he's a, he's a pal, he's a colleague. Mark, what do you tell Grace to do in a, in a minute that we have? By the way, David, we agree a heck of a lot more than we disagree. And, uh, Absolutely. You, uh, you've already said, you've already given her pretty much all the answers. You also have it, to admit that your suit and ties are much better since hanging out with me. <laughs> I, they have to be. They had better be. <laughs> That's right. We try to match colors. You've already given her pretty much the answers, which is, you know, she has to eat more fruit and vegetables. Fiber is key. Whole grains is the other thing. Less fat, all of which you've said, less fatty foods, and less alcohol would be the other thing that, that, that you have to add. And there's some studies also that show that aspirin may be of some advantage. And clearly, as you said, she has to get screened, and especially with her family history, and make sure that there isn't a genetic component here. But, but that, and exercise, more exercise. Grace, thank you. I hope it answered your uh, question, and, and look for us online. And always, you can, you're can more than welcome to call in. Let's go to David from Harlem. David, good, good morning. morning. Dr. Samadhi here. Well, good morning, Dr. Samadhi. It's a pleasure talking to you. I listen to you for years, for years now Thank in your you. various media. Thank but you I very much. I have two rapid-fire questions because uh, <clears throat> I like to get the answers. I know the lines are jamming, but uh, you got it. my first question is, uh, what is your recommendation or, or opinion about Cialis and BPH? And, and the second one is, do you have any opinions about herbal 
supplements and uh, and BPH or or or. or, or um, I got you. BPH is an enlarged brain. prostate. Uh, we give a lot of medications such as Flomax or, uh, and, and Cordura. Those are blood pressure medications that patients may or may not want to take it. Uh, recently, mm-hmm. study shows that Cialis 5 milligram not only can help you with your urination, but can also work help you with sexual function. I usually use it for young men in their early 50s that I don't want to give Flomax. I use Cialis 5 milligram, and it's perfectly safe, um, and you can take it once a day. Way. I think as far as herbs are concerned, saw palmetto is the one that comes to mind for an enlarged prostate. What it does, it's supposed to shrink your prostate. It takes a little time. You won't see the effect of it quickly. But the thing about saw palmetto that I want you to be concerned about is it reduces your PSA, the blood test, to half. So if you are uh, taking saw palmetto for a long time, be aware of doubling your PSA. If you have questions about prostate, elevated PSA or prostate cancer, call 212 365-5000, Three six five five thousand, and the way you remember the number is the number of days in a year. Three six five two one two three six five five thousand. All right, uh, let's go to James. James, good morning, Doctor Samadi here. Good morning, Doctor. Nice to talk with you. Nice talking to you. Where are you calling from, James? I'm calling from Potomac Falls, Virginia, Northern Virginia. Virginia, nice to hear your voice. Talk to me. We are going to. We have two minutes to answer your question, my friend. Okay. Um, I had mentioned to you on LinkedIn that I'm on uh, testosterone pellets. And basically, um, just to tell you real quick, I went from Androgel to Fortesta to Axeron to the shots. And then it, my doctor decided that it would be best to do the pellet therapy with Scotopel. And they insert 10 pellets every five months in my hip. My testosterone went from 181 to 1328. And you're saying that possibly that might be hard on my heart. My blood pressure has gone down, though, because I've lost 30 pounds. My waist, I've lost five inches. I'm not trying to gain bulk. I've actually changed my diet to exclude alcohol and to just Good. go basically paleo. Uh, um, right, let so. me just jump in. No question that testosterone will build up your muscle and you're going to lose a lot of body fat, without a doubt. And I think that this was designed not for aging people or testosterone, the natural loss. It was really made for people who don't make any testosterone. And it's like now being used off-label. My concern is like having walking around with a testosterone of 1,000, which is at the highest peak that you should be, it may affect your prostate. It may affect uh, prostate cancer. And recently, there was an FDA news that it may even cause some heart disease and heart attack. So as long as you're under surveillance of cardiologists and you have a good urologist, I think we're going to be okay. This is a discussion that's going to be continue. I want to see you next week uh, to call in, and I want to answer your questions. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to go to Clayton and talk about the recent technology, and uh, then we get to... 